the autumn wind brings a pirate ship that frolics across the sea, that both common man and superfan ride upon with glee. It sets its sails on Sunday with a stool upon its mast, and that sounds the ring of the internet's king and a bristling black mustache. The autumn wind brings outlaws misunderstood and feared, and blow for blow, they'll vanquish foes while drinking down their tears. The world amazed, all singing praise with Casey Smith upon the stage, Dave and Dan, Dan and Dave. Really? Ain't nobody killed by Dan and Dave. It's prime time, baby. the Pro Football Football Show presented by Barstool Sports. We are back in Texas. Dion, Dave, Dan, I am Casey. And right as the red light was coming on, we were already arguing about our records here, guys. I we don't know why. Well, you won last week. Uh, yeah, every week. But you, yeah, well, so well, far. I'll tell you why. We're yeah. filming this early because early Dion's got us on a, on a leash here with the <laughs> schedule. So it's a fucking Tuesday. <laughs> <right here. laughs> So he's like, we're, subject he, to change. He, yeah, well, and he's like, the, picks a subject to change. Well, on last week I had the Lions, even though the Saints were my mortal lock. The Saints were my best pick of the week. So if we get dinged, I, like, how I do you get dinged? Well, I, first of all, I, the Patriots didn't have Cam Newton, that mattered, you and the, and the Saints was because uh, Stu Finer, who's the worst handicapper ever lived, picked the Lions, <laughs> and I knew he'd be wrong because he always is. So I made the Saints my best pick. So we're doing this on Tuesday, but. We, so everything is just subject well, to change. No, how about change? What's the pr change process? You, you said you declare with me. All right, okay. No, you call All right. me. All right. When I was on your show right before well, the game, what no, did no, I say? No, 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 no. You that was calling you. Then what about the people at home? They got to they gotta ride with it. They got to yeah, ride with it. He calls yeah, so you. So I got to proclaim it. You I got to say proclaim it, it on Twitter and Instagram. Yes. All, okay. All right. All right. All right. So All whatever right. Well, picks. I proclaimed it. You proclaimed what? The Saints. What? On the show. After the game. Your timeline's messed up. Your timeline's messed up. You have been everywhere. Hardest working man, but you did do the Saints on Wednesday and then you put the Lions on Thursday. Two different shows. Yeah. 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 How's that possible? <laughs> you you, you did know. this. This is because what you, you did. You went against Stu and then, you went, and then when you came here on Thursday, I talked yeah. you into it. You went with the Lions. Yeah, yeah, you did it one on advisors, one on the show. You wanted to go against me so passionately, you, you went for the wrong team. I think it should count as a push. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that you should both teams. No yeah. You have been all over the place, Dan. I know you said, did you see him working out with the teenagers yesterday? He's proud of it. Yeah, he's, he's a new he TikTok good. star. He I good. wasn't proud of it, but you it's like, proud of it. whatever you got to do for the business. Your shirt is off everywhere. Well, no, that's these kids, their shirts are off, so I was trying to like be like, hey, hey, fellas, I'm one of you. <laughs> but you wouldn't have took your shirt off unless you was proud of it. Your shirt was coming off no matter what in that situation. When you saw Dave doing that, did you say to yourself, now that's a recruiter? Because that's the same demographic, 17-year-old guys. You know what? Going to get them to bar that's school. That's a good point. You go in, you, you, you assimilate, you do what they do, you, you talk like they do, do, you whatever, you I just get it. Right. That's, 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 that's how I need to recruit Those kids are like... For that demo, the most popular humans no, they're, on they're earth. They're huge. Huge. Yeah. So we could get you some Jackson State recruits I via those, yeah. that TikTok. That demo every day. They're just yeah. TikToking all over the place. Did you uh, get to do any dances? I didn't do any of the wiggle, wiggle dicking. Yeah, wiggle dicking. Well, they do. Like, when you grew up, you played football, probably got girls. Now you'd be a loser. It's like you grew up, you wiggle, you wiggle dick in front of a mirror. I, don't, I, don't, I can't even understand that. <laughs> they, they, There's a lot of stuff I'm learning on this show. Yeah. A they, lot of they stuff. Just, they, they wiggle their dicks in front of a mirror. I, I, that hadn't made it to Texas yet. No, it has. Trust me. That's what they're doing on TikTok. That's what they're doing in L.A. Uh, before we get to the games of the week, a lot of big headlines in the NFL, but the biggest one, the first firing in 2020, Bill O'Brien out in Texas. Of course, his first year as a GM. And, Dion, you've been really heavy on the fact that he made some bad trades oh, in the offseason. It's one thing to be a head coach and you lose games, but another thing to be the head coach and the GM and you're responsible for the personnel within the confines of that locker room. You're responsible for the day-to-day -day decisions that brings you to a, 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 a record that you had not won a game and you traded one of your best players in the franchise history away to Arizona. You, that was going, that was evident to happen. The house that Bob built, yep. that guy said last yes. week. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, right. Yes. 
The um, it was to be expected though because True. he did the classic move of any coach that's on their dying breath, where they uh, then sit back in the offensive install meeting and say, "I'm going to be calling plays now." Mm -hmm. I, you, I love when coaches do that when they know the seat is hot. They're like, if they're a defensive coach, they're going to start calling the plays on the defensive side. If they're offensive coach, so Dion, that's a little tip. Yep. Don't ever do that. The minute a coach says, I'm, I'm, I'm going to start getting my hands on the play calling more, that means they're about to be fired. Yeah. The uh, Belichick coaching tree continues. Uh, is there anybody? To bite the dust. Uh, wait. Yeah. There's nobody. Yeah. Oh, we're dolphins. thinking of an obvious one. Oh, well, Brian oh, well, is good. Yeah. The, the verdict's out on him. I mean, but, yeah. but it, Patricia's struggling. Patricia's struggling. Bob, yeah. Bill Bryan. Romeo just Canal got back to the job, but he struggled before. Charlie beforehand. Weiss. I mean, if Charlie you want to. Charlie no Depending good. on how you uh, view success. Charlie Weiss might have been the most successful coach. How of all else time. do you view success? Well, he got paid success. millions upon millions of dollars to not coach. I would say that's, that's not successful. success. Yeah, it, that's success. It, it, that's a buyout. Success is winning. He got a buyout success from Notre Dame for 20. He's still getting paid. Of all the issues that we have with race and coaching and whatever, you know who gets the number one pass? Notre Dame. Charlie Willingham was like the best coach Tyra that they, Tyra Tyra Willingham, you know that they had in like the last three decades. They got rid of him like that. And everyone else sucks. Let me tell you something. Well, the hood everywhere just stood up and clapped for you. It's true. It's yeah, crazy. It's crazy. He got. He got. Bro. Yeah. He got. Yeah, he got he they, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody yeah. forgot. Yeah. yeah. And, and then they, <laughs> gave, they gave everybody a much bigger like leash than him. But he he actually was better than most of the guys. The guy they have now is kind of winning. Then he disappeared. Yeah, where what is he? To him? Yeah. Where is did he ever get another job after that? Can we get him a call in on the, can I'm we have him on the show? Maybe there's more than me there because he was very good. He was great at Stanford. He was at Stanford first, right? Yes. He was Where great there. He's he very though? good at Notre Dame and then he's gone. Dan's looking it up Tyrone right now. Willingham. He is right now not coaching. Yeah, yeah he hasn't coached since. <laughs> no, he went he went to coach Washington in, from 2005 to 2008 and then was just done. You know Crazy. how long ago 2008 was? Long time, Long time ago. ago. Yeah. Twelve years. And these coaches, they just recycle, and he was very it's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Right. He Jaylen, was on. You know yeah, he was on the. Uh, mem he was a, a member of the college football playoff selection committee in 2014. Strange. 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 Yeah. Very weird. Let's get into the storyline games of the week. We are going to start with the Colts at the Browns. Now, Dion, you've been big on Odell all season. Yeah. He had an incredible game last week against the Cowboys. How many he scored? I forgot. Like, he like, had three touchdowns. Oh, okay, yeah. I forgot. Sorry. Yeah, but I mean, Dallas's defense is horrendous. But how much do you put into the Browns right now, seeing what they're doing? The Browns are like a seesaw team, man. They're up, they down, they're up, they're down. The best thing about the Browns, their running game is off the darn mm -hmm. charts. Mm -hmm. I can't put a lot of pride into what they did against Dallas because I don't even know who Dallas is mm -hmm. right now. But the thing about it, they scored a lot of darn points. I mean, 49 darn points. I don't think they're going to come back and score 49. Baker is on a seesaw as well. I don't know who he is. He only had to throw for, what, a buck 50, buck 60 last week, yep. and they still won, which was great for a team. This is going to be a good game, but I would give the edge. Whenever it's a good game and I feel like it's balanced, I go with the home team. Damn. I'm going to give that to the Browns. Okay. It, it, this, this to me is, I said this last week, I think I was the only one on this esteemed panel that mm. the Cardinals would be who they are, and it's a week where I'm going to find out, are the Cardinals – the team that kind of got over the hump, or are they still the same old Cardinals? This is that week for the Browns. If the Browns are legit, they win this game. I don't think they are, so I'm taking the Colts. Damn. Yeah, they, I mean, the Browns, they ran for 307 yards against the Cowboys. Mm. They're not going to be able to do that against the Colts. Now, the Colts haven't played the best competition, but the Colts' defense has looked very good against mm -hmm. the competition they played. It's two running teams. It's going to be a low-scoring game. I'm going to go with the Colts as well. I just think the Browns, people always get excited about the Browns because they want them to be good, and I want them to be good. But that Cowboys, like, the Cowboys couldn't stop anything. We yeah. could have ran. That is one thing that always bothers me about the Browns. I love I think Cleveland Brown fans and, and that franchise. They deserve a great team. Their uniforms are so ugly. The team does not fit the uniforms in the city, Yeah, if that makes any sense. They're, the uniforms are nice. Wait. I like the yeah, uniforms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said they're like, they're like grinder. Oh, uniforms. I think they're gorgeous. I think they're I helmets. The uniforms. Yeah, but they're not like a like I want to see a running team in those uniforms. Well, they, they are. are running they teams. are now. Yeah, yeah. but I don't like. Yeah. I don't know. Like T.O. and Baker, those guys. Eh. 
They don't fit like the mold <laughs> for me. You want something T-O flashier? You call them T.O. You I call them T.O. But that actually, OBJ. <laughs> we all knew OBJ. you meant. We all knew OBJ. 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 We knew exactly what you meant. It's you know exactly what you was trying to do. And we knew. We knew what you meant. That was a 40-year slip. We knew what you meant. Yeah, it's true. It's true. OBJ initials. We got you, Dave. Don't worry. Before we move on, though, with the Colts, we talked about their defense, but what do you think about their offense and Phillip Rivers right now? I love me some Philly Rivers. See, that's one of my favorite quarterbacks of all time because he takes it like it is. If he if he plays like garbage, he walks up to the podium and said, I stunk, guys. It's not too many quarterbacks that does that. This guy, what? What is he going for? 70 what? 73% per, per completion percentage. I, I love this guy. He's not going to be the reason that they lose the game if they lose this oh, I game. Mean, he definitely could be the reason. He's, he's not. Uh, he, if, Philly he's Rip is a moderation. Winner. In moderation. He's a winner. No, no uh, he is a winner. How, what's he ever won? He's a winner. What's he ever won? He's a winning what's guy. He's ever won, though. He's a winner. So it's the big winners ball. against each other. Odell Beckham versus yeah. Philip Rivers. Mm-hmm. The big Odell winner. can't be Odell without Baker. But you know what? They thought that. They heard us say that on this show, and guess what they did? Now they're yeah. going together. No, they did a reverse pass, and they let somebody else Charter throw it. <laughs> no, Phil Rivers <laughs> don't. <laughs> Phil Rivers. They took it out of Baker's hands. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think Frank Reich is one of the best coaches in the league, and I, I think agree. Phil Rivers, uh, they figured it out very quickly after the first week when they lost to the Jaguars, which is a head-scratcher. You can't have Phil Rivers throw the ball 50 times a game. Mm-hmm. So Nobody they're running the ball, the ball a lot more like times a game. they ran the ball a lot against the Bears. They've been running the ball, controlling the clock. So I think they've, they're have they playing to his strengths, and that's not throwing it 50 times a game. All right, let's run through the picks one more time. Dion, you're going? Cleveland. Cleveland, Dave? Colts. Colts? Colts. I Colts. love it. God, I love it. All right, let's go to the Raiders at the Chiefs. Now, Dave, you picked the Patriots to beat the Chiefs. That was before Cam Newton had corona, so I know that that has a little asterisk next to it. Big asterisk. Big asterisk. She's my MVP. Yeah, I know. So we'll see. So, But what did you see from the Chiefs against Brian Hoyer and Jared Stidham in that game last week? So, I mean, the Patriots, I had my, I came out, I like to do this just to keep, so people know where I stand. I come out with my NFL rankings after the week's over, and I came out with them after the game. I have the Patriots number one. Okay. Um, oh, that was no surprise. Well, I, I think they, they went into Seattle, which is a tough place to play. They got stopped at the one-yard line, They but on neutral field, they're better than the Seahawks. And... Th- they probably beat the Chiefs by 30 if Cam played. I mean, they dominated that game. So I'm very happy with that. I thought the Chiefs looked weak. They're exactly who I thought they were. I do think they blow out the Raiders here. The Raiders kind of suck. Um, but I'm, the Chiefs are exactly who I think they are. I said it last week. I'll ask it every week. How many times have they won a Super Bowl when they've had to go through New England? The answer is none. It's Brady, Belichick, Portnoy. I like where the season's at. Dan? I have a question. Dave. Thank you. Do you <laughs> think Bill Belichick called up Tom Brady last night and was like, hey, like, I'm sorry, because I just watched two guys play quarterback in Jared Stidham and, and Brian Hoyer, and that's what my life could have been. No. That was horrendous. It was horrendous. Yeah, it's horrendous. But that's I, what so, the sorry, rest of the sorry, world Sorry, Belichick didn't know that coronavirus. No, but I'm asking you a question of, the, do you think Belichick maybe in the back of his head he'll never admit it like, hey, maybe they I should. They wouldn't have been in that situation. Like Tom Brady is special. Time out, time, time out. No, because we he's had, we have a quarterback. He just got corona. We no, had I know. Set. We had Garoppolo. So he gets quarterback. Right, but these guys. Like, he would never settle with those watching quarterbacks. Watching Brian Hoyer play was like, wow, this yeah, is. Yeah, but, but Brady, I mean, Belichick gets very good quarterbacks. Like, we have a great quarterback. He would never be stuck with those two guys yeah. outside of a pandemic. Outside of a pandemic. I actually thought the Patriots, like, they were in that game. Mm-hmm. There was a couple calls that were very weird. And then Brian Hoyer, like, Brian Hoyer. I'll say one nice thing about Brian Hoyer. He stays in the pocket, even while he's getting sacked and past getting sacked. <laughs> and by the way, he has no there. internal I, I, clock. I tweeted this out, too, because Patriot fans would go bananas when he took that sack to end the first half. It's like, <laughs> I'm not going to get mad at Brian Hoyer for being Brian Hoyer. Yeah. Like, I didn't think that was Joe Namath. <laughs> His blocking. internal like, clock. fucking Brian Hoyer. You were yeah. mad at COVID cat. for taking the Cam big, away. Yeah. The big cat had, the, I think, one of the funniest tweets this week besides Nick. That when he said Belichick wanted to punch him in the throat. Oh, yeah, I said Brian <laughs> Belichick's going to throat punch <laughs> Brian Hoyer. Like, I just imagine it halftime after punch. taking that sack because <laughs> Belichick, like, I think Belichick can deal with, like, 
uh, interceptions. <laughs> like, you know, the other team makes a great play, but bad situational football. I just imagine them the walking throat. into the locker room and Belichick <laughs> being like, hey, Brian, I got, can you come here for a second? And bam, right in the throat. It was the timing of it. And everybody was thinking the same thing. So thank you yes, for that tweet. That, he, that had to drive him insane. Situational uh, football but, failure. Yeah, it is Brian. I mean, Brian Hoyer is exactly who he thought he was. And, and on the office side of you, and I'm not just saying that as like this crazy homer Patriot, well, like the Bears are 3-1 and one in there, fans are like, oh, Patriot fans, I think for the most part, pretty encouraged by this team, obviously. Yeah, they were in that game. When they you were have in Brian that Hoyer as yeah. the quarterback instead of him, who's, who can't start over Hoyer, you have a problem. The Kansas City played down to the level of mm. competition. Last uh, night, that one. They, 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 like, they played. Yeah. Dave, Dave almost no, hit you. Nobody, nobody, you nobody play, the down. Patriots are not. You don't play down to the, the Patriots. They're the Patriots. They, they played down. Okay. It was not a sharp game by the Chiefs. They wasn't as explosive as they normally are. You got to credit the Patriots for that. But let me tell you something. The Chiefs got a habit of playing. They played it again like that with the L.A. Chargers. They mm -hmm. played out. Then they come back on Monday night and just dominated uh, Baltimore. This team has to be consistent with who they are and play up to this level. They will dominate the Raiders. This will not be a close game. Last year they did, I think that was the game where Patrick Mahomes threw for four touchdowns in the second quarter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but that was like it. Yeah, they're going to kill him. Yeah. yeah. The, the people are now talking about the Chiefs 16-0. Yeah. That's starting to gain a little. Next week they play the Bills on Thursday Night Football in Buffalo. But That's the rest of their game. schedule, they, I mean, they have a couple of tough games. I think they play the Saints in the box, but... That's now starting to gain some steam. There was a lot of hype uh, early in the season with Derek Carr, too. Do you think that's kind of slowed down a little bit? Yeah, one good game. I, I, don't, I, hate, like I don't hate Derek Carr. I just... You don't love him. No. Well, why aren't there He's all those small hands? Rumors? I, I have not seen his hands. Yeah, his hands are small. He's got four fumbles this year. Small hands. It, it has nothing to do with the hands. Yes, it does. Fumbles he, does not do Dion, with the hands. Dion, on Sunday, he had a fumble that if he had another inch on his hands, never would have happened. How can you say he I watched it happen. How can you say that the man you hold the four? You it, literally, like, give me the, what? So that's just like saying a tennis football kicker. is There's a better right kicker there. if he has big feet. I don't no. want to no, no, no. take that. What's the same thing? He was like this. He was like this. And then he went like that. He tried to grip it, and it went like that. a little you're not hearing this over here, right? He said, how can you say small hands don't contribute to football? I said, well, do big feet help them kick longer field goals? This is crazy. This is Put no, this on not, the board no, of an idiot. You're saying no. Small hands. You're holding a, a ball. Uh, if you, you don't hold a ball in your palm. But if you have tiny hands and you hit I, it, it falls out. I mean, I do have but really Dave, small hands. Even, so. Dave, hold a ball in the middle of the ball. You hold the ball up here, guys. Yeah, but you have big hands. You have little hands. I just wanted you to see that. Again, he had a fumble. I understand if you get if you get the ball punched out, it's different. He had a fumble. Watch this. This is what he did. He went to grip it harder, and it went like that. That's not that happened. So you're saying with basketball, yet. like if basketball is it. not I'm easy to like knock it away if a guy has big hands, he's holding. What is it, Dion? You're crazy. No, that Learn has nothing football, to do man. with it. Learn football. Yes, Mo most of the, most of the play? guards don't have huge hands. They get handles. If you're holding a basketball with a bigger, it's easier to grip. So it's you, easy to palm a basketball. They might take your Hall of Fame jacket football away. Football is not the same. They might take your Hall of Fame jacket away with some of the statements you So big feet, you should be able to kick far for the field goal. Such a the size of the foot in the size of the ball. The size of the foot in the size of the ball. But you're not holding on to it. You're using your foot to kick it. So don't you think if your foot covered most of the ball, you get more impact on the ball? No, that one man was kicking. You're thinking about Who let you think about it? I'm not thinking about it. You're just, it's garbage. What? It's garbage and it's rubbish. Who led the league in turnovers last year? I have no idea. I think it was Jameis Winston, right? Jameis Winston's got nine inch hands. Who never turns the ball over? That's Aaron Rodgers. He's hands. got like 12 so inch hands. hands. So James Wilson has hands has nothing to do with the 30 interceptions. Yeah, partly. Nothing with it's more about the interceptions. No, interceptions in, in bad weather, absolutely that the has. The ball slips out. Yes. You don't have the best. It's you good for It's more about fumbles, but interceptions in bad weather, absolutely. I don't know how you do like it. Even, it's science. No, it's not yeah, science. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yes, it no, is. If you have bigger hands, you yes, can it. hold a you football don't get tight drafted. Hands. I've never seen a guy. He's not going to draft him. He has small hands. They oh, do. I get I don't. No. I, no. They do talk about no, hands. They talk about it. It's a tiebreaker. It does not It's happen. not the most important, but it's important. 
It definitely contributes to There's holding a the football. We're not saying it's so the most important. So every quarterback that's got drafted has huge hands. No, no, no. So why do they still get drafted? Because it's a tiebreaker. And I think that if the, if you have a guy so who has small hands, who has fumble problems, it's okay to mention that his hands, his tiny little itty bitty hands, <laughs> have something to do with like baby hands on the ball. He's got his baby hands. He's nine inch hands. <laughs> Dion, <laughs> if we do scientific, <laughs> if we do a scientific <laughs> experiment mm -hmm. where you put every quarterback that is hold the ball like this and with the grip and you just go slap it the guys with the smaller hands are going to drop it first most That's of the science. time a quarterback is under pressure they're going to cut the ball and bring it to their body they're not going to keep it hold, hold it oh, out but, but if it, you have it in one nobody big wants to do it on purpose it. nobody wants see. to get stripped on purpose a lot of time i'm going to show you what happens just hold the ball like i'm throwing it like yeah, this yeah see what happens is when they come they, that, that's what they do. That has nothing to do with the size of your hand. If I had a much, no, it isn't. If I had something to do with it, if I had a vice grip, if I had the football, but my hand all the way around the football, that wouldn't do anything. Matter. They're it doesn't matter. They're hitting it, this. No, it does matter. It's crazy that you don't Science, think this. Science, man. It's crazy. He has what? barely, barely over you know nine inch hands. You know what he's going to do? Do you know how small that is, Dion? And you know what he's going to do? Yeah. On his recruiting trip now, he's, uh, yeah. he's going to be like, can I see your hands? Yeah, he's he's like, not going to tell us. Yeah, right. He's 100% going to do everything. Let me see the hands. Hey, kid, let me see the hands. Put your hands on the dark table. Yeah. Four fumbles. <laughs> four fumbles in four games, and you're telling me the hand size has nothing to do with it. The hand has nothing to do with it. Okay. I'm, it, 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 everything matters. Everything matters. And That's football, a great quote. everything matters. Yes. Not it's hands. a game of inches. Not hands. I like That's the game. Of okay, inches. well, guess what? He's got less inches than everyone else. That should be your slogan. Everything matters. <laughs> Everything matters. I'm not going to use he has less inches than everyone else. I would not use that one. Yeah, don't, okay. don't do that one. Uh, let's move on to the Bills at the Titans. <laughs> Talking about hands all the time. Dan, do you think that this game is even going to happen? As of yes. right now, yes. they're saying the Titans yes. are, are clear-ish. I'm ready for this game. I think it's going to happen. I actually, I have no idea, though, what to expect from the Titans not being in the facility for a week and a half. I would assume, like you said last week, Dion, it doesn't sharp. really matter. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. There's Zoom meeting. There's so much technology now to prepare these kids. As long as they're conditioning, they're fine. Okay. I, I mean, I like the Bills anyway. I, do I think too. the Titans are somewhat fraudulent, and uh, they they're three they're three and zero, oh, but they're zero and three against the spread, which tells mm -hmm. you something's off. Mm -hmm. And Dave, Josh Allen, continue. Josh. He almost got hurt last week. Yeah, but. did you see? Oh, you you might have. No, I did. It. I actually yeah. was watching the Bills. Yeah. And then he threw that rocket. Mm -hmm. yeah, he had a, a couple scared. plays, unbelievable. He he's probably I think the AFC MVP right now. Like I said. Yeah. Oh, I agree. Interesting. I agree. I agree. That has to hurt. No, a it does. Well, I'm he thinking, he's smirky. thinking about other people. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking about a couple other guys. Lamar. In the I don't know. No, no, no. Right. Lamar's yeah. not up there. He had that okay. one bad yeah, Monday so night game. He bounced right uh, yeah, back. It's, it's, it's Allen, it's like I said, which you, you mocked and made fun of me for a couple weeks ago. No, I didn't. Mm, I, I agree think we could pull up. I agree with you. Also, uh, just so everyone I knows, I like oh, Allen. Dream sequence. Yeah, this is Josh Allen. I think he is the second best young quarterback in the league. I think it goes Mahomes, Allen, then Jackson. I love Josh Allen. I Sean love Wilson just texted me. What did he say? He just said you lost your mind. You didn't agree with that. I didn't agree that Josh no. Allen is really good. I didn't say he was the MVP at well, the time. Well, I, I said I'd rather him than Lamar Jackson. You act like it was oh, a Oh, no, no, no. I would never do that. Well, not, you not, still it's too don't, premature. You still don't think that? No, he, he doesn't have enough games up under his belt that means something. I just want it on the record. I've been keeping official Haven't stats. Haven't they the same amount of playoff games, pretty much? Uh, Allen, yeah. No. yeah, yes, they've played the same yeah. amount of playoff games. Yeah. They're going one. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I don't know how I can say Lamar. <laughs> Josh <laughs> Allen has 13 <laughs> touchdowns and zero interceptions. Mm -hmm. He got screwed out of a touchdown last week with John Brown, which was 100% a, a, a touchdown. And the interception against the Rams shouldn't have been called an interception. So I'm just keeping tally. Okay. He's throwing zero interceptions. Okay. 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 My mark that down. Your book. My yeah, mark that down. Book. This is going to be kind of an upsetty game for Tennessee. This is going to be a close game all the way through, but I do feel the Bills are going to pull it out. But Tennessee, this is going to be a close game all the way through. The Bills are due for one of those letdown games. They almost had versus the Rams. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I like the Titans here. A very good game. Like the it, it, it's a flip game, yeah. I, I don't think the Bills are going to go 16-0. I think there's a spot where so they can lose. So you think this is the one? Yeah, I, well, I think it's a spot they could lose. I will say I don't understand Corona at all. Like, no. when you're like, are no. they going to play? Like, what, what the Patriots, for example, 
I don't understand what doing from Sunday to Monday does test, fast testing or something. Well, they need one more day to, to, to test To figure everybody. out everybody else's testing. Everybody, but, yeah. I mean, Titans, every single day until early this week, had new tests every day turn positive. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so everyone plays by different rules. I don't know. I, this, to me, is just the Bills are 4-0, Tennessee's 3-0. They're both undefeated. Could go either way. I'm going with the home. It's almost what Dion said. I'm going with the home team, even though I don't I like know it matters it. and... I'm, I'm actually switching my pick now okay. that I'm thinking oh about it more. Goodness. Hold on, Gracious. I'm going to explain it. I'm switching my pick. Dave said something interesting there that they got in my brain, and mm. I played it out. Uh, a letdown spot at some point. Guess who the Bills I have? I said that. Guess That's who the Bills have after. on Thursday? Oh, Chiefs. 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 In Buffalo. Yeah. Yeah. Chiefs in Buffalo. They're all 4 0. They haven't been 4 0 for 25 years. They have the Chiefs coming up. That's going to be the biggest game on their calendars, circled right there. Well, that's not true. I don't care what the Chiefs the are. Again? The Patriots. The Patriots are the oh, biggest okay. game for the Bills. So that, that will be their biggest game on the season. Ca right. Circled calendar Super Bowl champs. I think this is the letdown spot. You guys Titans. going for the Titans. Yeah. Titans. I'm definitely going for the Bills. That's smart. Yeah. Put a star by it. Put a That's star by it. Mm -hmm. Make sure you guys mark smart. that down in the truck. All right. So before we get to more games, let's go to everybody's favorite segment, Hashtag Truth. And Dave, last week you said the Saints are officially oh. done. They did beat the Lions. There's just no way the timing of how we did these shows add up. <laughs> you, picked, you picked this game six you different did. ways. You did. My pick so of we, the week we, was, we, the line, was the Saints. On we Wednesday. did this show on Thursday, though. Advisors was on Wednesday. Yeah. It's just not possible. <laughs> it happened. <laughs> The Saints are truly done. I think Ooh, that. I like that. Spicy. I like that. It happened. It quite happened. Well, because you <laughs> you picked the Saints solely because Stu picked the Lions. That but was that's the only fine. Reason. I put a lot of stock in how bad he is. <laughs> uh, all right, my truth this week, and I have to look. I think the Bengals are going to make the playoffs. Oh, wait, wow. that's my truth from week one. Right, so you're on. You yeah. jumped off it. No, but I. Yeah, 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 your truth still off. counts as your truth. Yeah, I, th I, 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 like I love that, Burrow. I, I love like Burrow. I love Burrow. I think they can make the playoffs. Okay. He's awesome. I love He's that so story awesome. of they gave him the the, yes. the game ball for his first victory, and he just put it back in the bag because he liked how it worked, how it threw. Which it reminded me of the the Shea Patterson Jim Harbaugh last year. They had the game ball off. Remember that? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Shea Patterson Jim Harbaugh gave Shea Patterson the game ball. Shea Patterson put it back in Jim Harbaugh's office, and then Jim Harbaugh snuck it into Shea Patterson's uh, backpack. Shea magic <laughs> was Shea not magic. magic. Yeah. The sweatshirts were fire, though. Yeah, that would be nice. All right, Dan, what's your truth of the week? I'm sticking with uh, what I'm going to do every single week. My plan every single week is I'm going to take the Ravens, and they're going to pump the bad team. So my truth remains that the Ravens are the bullies on the block. They stink against good teams, and they will kill bad teams. They are playing this week. Who are they playing? The Bengals. Oh, so whoops. There we go. I think they're going to kill the Bengals. Nope. Bengals are going to play. And by the way, Jimmy Seafood, shut up. Jimmy's crab check seafood. They keep tweeting at me, acting like the Ravens. The Ravens are a joke. They're like, oh, the Patriots <laughs> lost? Dude, we had a, a high school quarterback. You had your MVP look like he was a high school quarterback. Shut up. Dion? I'm going to throw this out to you guys. Okay. I want you to ponder this, though. Cam is on a one year, and he kind of hinted like it's just business. Mm -hmm. Like, as if he's passing through, just going through a when car When did he wash. hit that thought? He hinted he, to He it. did have yeah. a comment. When? Mm -hmm. He said it that it's like comment. this is a business, business year. This is business. When did he say that? Last week. It was I like, don't know if it was no, specifically, it was I'm leaving New England. He didn't say I was leaving. I, all he I've heard is the opposite. No, it's more no, approving. No, no, he, I no. think he was more talking about how this is a proven No, deal. he wasn't. But he, he couldn't prove it there. We were talking about the business side of it, and he was like, no, I'm just here on business. That's like Revis. Yeah, I'm just here on business. What if... He is here on business, and Dak Prescott continuously does what he does. And your guys go after Dak. He will be a free agent at the end of this season. Thank you. He's so throwing saying, a lot into the universe that right would be there. Very that interesting. Would be I'm just very telling you. And then the, the Cowboys get Cam? I don't know if the Cowboys get Jill Cam, Switcher. but the Cowboys have to go somewhere else. But think Why about would this. Cam leave New England if we're willing to pay? Because they're not willing to pay. But that might be. How would we get okay, that? Well, let me just tell you this. This is how athletes think. You caught me on sale, and you really disrespected me. Now I went and balled out. Now you want to pay me. Now I'm well, going to did the wait, Patriots but disrespect Kim? No, they I caught him on sale. They I gave him a shot. They gave him they two don't... hand claps and a snap. You offer him the most. But you, you think the Patriots want to pay Cam and then go pay Dak? I don't think that part doesn't make sense. Like I wouldn't be shocked if the Patriots, if if Cam is a free, he is a free agent, mm -hmm. and he gets all the offers. Knowing Belichick, 
He's never going to just overpay a position. He, and somebody else might had, overpay for him. Right. That's a Someone little will bit, overpay right. for him. That is a little bit of a misnomer with Belichick. He has paid in the past, but he has things like... They're not he, known for paying. Like, like, like Roosevelt Colvin. And no, but he do, won't, you, you agree, he won't overpay. He, he, no, no he, they're not known for paying, period. No, they do pay. That's, that's no, a misnomer. Don't. That is, they have paid guys. And Someone and, will and overpay, overpay for fraternity. Pay. They're not known for Someone paying. will pay too much for Cam. Yeah, There's it, not it, too he, many teams out there that he, could he do it. He won't overpay yeah. for a guy that he feels doesn't or is going to somehow hurt. He won't just pay for names. He pays for outfits. There you go. Do you think that he would pay for Dak Prescott, though? No. Like, I, I don't... Dak yeah, is that doing doesn't right make now. Sense. What Dak is doing right like, now. Like, if Cam's awesome, like, Dak is going to be more than Cam. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. So that's yeah, that makes that's where it doesn't make sense. But Kid Dak more, is younger. But right. are you more safe with Dak? Yes. Okay. Yes. That, that's who are their Patriots? They like safety. That can. I ball. mean, I like it. It's a crazy thought. Just, just throwing it out there. It's a crazy thought. I'll, 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 I'll get I'll get you the the uh, Pepsi version of the YooHoo, mm -hmm. which is probably better, way better, if that yeah. comes to fruition. I also like that. That's your truth. Your truth is just. Dion's been thinking crazy ass thoughts. No, yeah. that could possibly happen. <laughs> you sit here out on this property and start sure. to look up at the stars like, and weird I shit. It. I don't know. It could possibly I, I, happen. Could happen. I mean, it's not Dak's fault that Dallas is losing. At all. And Dak is balling. I didn't, by the way, I missed the Cam thing. Because everything I've seen is Cam loves no, he playing said, here. It he wasn't said. fully, it wasn't he like said, I'm out of here. No, it wasn't it was I'm out of here. That I mean, I, I, I disagree with you wholeheartedly that I'll he's like, oh, I'll spite against the stat. Patriots, they got me out. What I'm are we supposed to do? Pay you a hundred times I'm more than no one else wanted them. Telling you the, way, guy, the way guys think, that's the way they think. Now you got me on peanuts. For since you did that, you're gonna have to pay me for what you didn't give me last year. That's the way guys think. That's crazy though, but because the without, without the Patriots, he may not even be on the team right now. He's on the team, but not on this type of team. Yeah. Through five weeks, I think that's the most interesting truth so far. Yeah. Dak Prescott may end that's up what in I New England. Do. All right. I don't think it was, I'm looking at the quotes right now. He's basically saying more so that like he knew that if he didn't do well Give me this the year. What is the quote? In, he, in if he didn't do well this year, no. Knowing that if I don't do what I'm supposed to do, this could be good riddance for me. That's no, as serious that's not as, the one I'm is, about. as it is. That's not the quote I'm talking that seems, about. That doesn't that's, seem anti -patriot. That's not the one I'm talking about. The one I'm talking about said clearly, I'm here on business. I've he seen one described where I, this week as a business this season as a business trip. Thank but you. That, but that's that what could, I'm talking about. But read that could that be part of it. No, no, read that part. I'm trying to find it. But this that, is a business that, trip. That I can me, find where he's like, I don't want to talk about the contract. I'm just blessed to be here winning. And on yeah, he I never said that. check and we're both no, geniuses. And I'm going to do hieroglyphics and the whole works. <laughs> what do you think of the way you ever seen how he tweets? With not, like, I ain't got this ignorant. I, I can't even read that kind of stuff. What was, like, I can't. Well, yeah, I can't do it. it has to take him an extra 45 minutes to do that. You got to have glasses. He's, he's been, been doing it for a long time. time. Yeah, but you got to have glasses to even read this stuff. Does he have some sort of like software that translates it? it? Because it, how else can maybe you do a, that? Maybe it's a different keyboard. Maybe he doesn't I mean, even I love me some Cam, but I ain't with that one. It's weird. All right, we'll mark that one down. Let's go, before we get to more games, let's go to the Sunday conversation with our correspondent, Caleb Presley, who sat down with country music star Morgan Wallen. Morgan Wallen, country music superstar. Tell me about your new single, I Wish There Was More To My Hometown. Something like that, more than my hometown. Mm -hmm. um, What's wrong with it? It's just small or? It's, no, it's a song really it's saying how much you love your hometown, really. Uh, and Tennessee's a long state, isn't it? It's pretty wide, I think it's about seven, eight hours. Is like Tennessee that. wide or is Tennessee long? I think both. Which one's better? You like why, don't you? <laughs> well, not necessarily. Morgan Wallen likes fat chicks. Is that true? Love them. How do you avoid the groupies? Well, you know, you do the best you can. <laughs> and what do you call a group of groupies? I don't know, peepees? What do you say to people who say Morgan Wallen has jealous fans? In what way are they jealous? They don't, they don't want other people to like your music. They want to keep it for themselves. Well, that's awful selfish. They're more selfish than jealous. Yes. Morgan Wallen's fans are selfish, Morgan Wallen. What makes a song a song? Is it the singing? No, I think that's part of it. But I think the delivery matters, but so, do the, so does the substance. Mm -hmm. 
And what kind of substance are you are you using? Well, that's we're not going to talk about that. Is it true that you drink on the job? Yeah. Let me run you through a couple different jobs, and you tell me, is it okay to drink on that oh, job? Okay. Doctor. Probably not. Pastor. <laughs> Probably not. Mm -hmm. College athlete. No. Not a job anyways, amateurs. The Morgan Wallen Foundation. Tell me about that. Well, it's, it's still being dreamed of. Oh. So it's, so you don't have a charity foundation? No, not yet. Do you? Huh? Do you have one? <laughs> We've got Zai eating ice cream this week. Those well, balls. Uh, I think Balls was with Roan out in California. Got it. Oh, yeah. All right. They were crisscrossing the country. Let's go to the Ain't Nobody Care Game of the Week presented by Pepsi this football season. Prepare your taste buds for the most iconic sports watching drink of all time, Pepsi, with refreshing deliciousness, specially formulated to keep your eye on the ball and mouth watering fizziness. Pepsi has everything you need to power you through game day. Pepsi made for football watching. Dan, this week, We've got the Eagles and the Steelers. So we do care about this game. I did a little bit of a curveball this okay. week. Because if you look at the slate, there's ain't nobody care about games left and right. Dion, let me just, I'm going I'm to rattle it off for you real quick. Because there are, if you look at every single game this week, there are so many ain't nobody care about games. Carolina, Atlanta, you care about oh, that? Oh, my goodness. They should, even, they, yeah, they, Carolina. They, should even, they should put it on a Saturday. Arizona, Arizona Jets. Nope. Ain't Jacksonville, care. Houston. Ain't nobody care. <laughs> Miami, <laughs> San Francisco. Yes, nobody. Care. I care about that. You, one. Half of it. You okay. Care about half half of, it. of it. Half of it. So there's a lot of ain't nobody care about games. So I figured let's go with a game we actually do care about. Barstool Sportsbook in Pennsylvania. We're going Eagles. We're going Steelers. I wanted to just see these fans. And it's gonna be a big weekend, and we can talk about this game after we watch these guys. It's good, Dion. It's your boy Dunphy here. I am a diehard Eagles fan, as you can tell. Got it tatted all over me. I'm also the mayor of Philly, so whenever you come to Philly, let me know I got you, bro. What's up, Woody Dion? I'm repping that Stiller gang out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the greatest NFL city on earth. Game of the week. Game of the week. That's simple. That's what this game should be advertised as. The reason why you should pay attention to this game is because it's an in-state PA rivalry, even though they ain't never did nothing to rival us. So that means our team's going to bring out the best. You got the best team. The best team in the NFC East, the Philadelphia Eagles. Fuck Philadelphia as a city, franchise, and the fan base. Fuck the Steelers. Go Birds all day, every fucking day. Fuck Geno's. That shit tastes like trash. You want a real sandwich? Come to Permani Brothers in Pittsburgh. Order the pastrami and add an egg. Bird gang all day, baby. Let's go! Bang, bang, still a gang. I love it. There, he is, uh... Everything about him is Philadelphia, but I do we do care about this game. It's going to be exciting. Like I said, where it's the first, it's perfect that we have the Barcelona Sportsbook app live in Pennsylvania, and we have this game this week. And I believe you'll have to you'll have to do your due diligence on this, but our promo that we set up should be ready. Our Victory Monday promo in Pennsylvania, perfect game for it. So the Eagles win. On Monday, if you bet through the Barstool Sports app, place a bet on the Eagles, they cover free sub at Primo's. Yep. And there's all locations everywhere. Okay. That's a victory Monday in Pittsburgh. If you take the Steelers, they cover Primonti's. So we got the two cities, two nice. famous places. You place the bet, any amount, show the wager, free sandwich, victory Mondays all season long. I love That's it. Amazing. That promo is an electric promo. As for this game, mm -hmm. mm. Steelers. Yeah. Steelers. Steelers. I mean, the Eagles, I'm not Eagles sold got on to win. Eagles. They got to win. That you was can't. a really you nice. You put sold on and the Eagles in the same sentence. Right. But I, I, I'm going to give him credit. Carson Wentz, like everyone's talking about him. There's a lot of negative energy. They came out and they won a game that a lot of people didn't think they were going to win. I didn't think they were going to win, Dan. Coast. Yeah. So, San Francisco played like garbage. They did. The but guess what? It doesn't matter. Hook the whole team up. Hook the whole secondary up. We but I like the that Steelers. The whole team's hurt, too. Yeah. I now, like the yes, this is a yeah. oh question for you. Oh you're, you're, you, you like to remind us how you played and all that shit. <laughs> Not really. Uh, guy uh, Garoppolo. 
And we said on the show, like, if Mullins has a game, there could be a little due to do. I know. Yeah. So, is Garoppolo happy? Yes. You sit yeah. on the other side. It's yeah. just like in baseball when. When everybody you're platooning with a guy, you wanted the guy to strike out every right. time. You don't want, you don't want him to right. fall yeah. out. You want to play. So everybody, Garoppolo's not happy if the guy's out there balling. They got to stop that you don't get Wally you, This is what I hate about the Eagles, amongst many things. Mm. I don't like the dual quarterback thing. Like if you're going to play Jalen Hurts, play Jalen Hurts. Don't. Mm. I don't like you coming in and make cameos. I always hated I like when you put guys. Not only that, I, don't like, I that. don't like when you put guys in at the goal line. I feel like you see that fail more. It's like the guy fumbles like or something. Like white, you fumble. get all the way down there and. I don't I'll, like it. I'm gonna throw out an exception though. What Sean Payton does with Taysom Hill, oh, that's, that's different, different, right? Sean Payton is a darn because genius. that's a different package. That's I agree with you. Package. If you're throwing Jalen Hurts in there, they threw him in there. He lined up as a wide receiver. Everyone was like, oh, well, Carson Wentz is going to lateral this to him. And then what they do, the he lateral it to him. And, like, and it was no like no that. imagination. And not to mention the fact in this particular situation, at least in, in New Orleans, like, Drew Brees can't run. Like, Carson Wentz is pretty mobile. So, yeah. I mean, you can pretty much run anything you want with him that you could run with Hurts. Uh, Dion, going off of Dave's question, give me my give me the timeline right. Your last year with the Braves was 93? I have no idea. I'm not a historian when it comes to that. Were you rooting against them in the World Series when they finally won a World Series without No, you? no, because I wanted them to win. Sure. Yeah, because those are my guys, man. Okay. Like, when you're on the team, you, you just don't want the guy to do well. It's your Got position. It. If you're on Got the it. team. Yeah, when you're what if you get team, injured and then your team, like Julian Edelman gets injured and in the No, the you want him to win because you get a playoff cut. You get a share. Okay. Yeah, but for a guy like you, you don't care about the cut. You, you no, know, like, I want to win. Right. I want to yeah. win. Let me tell you something. Pittsburgh, I like them. I don't love them. I like them, but they're better than the Eagles. So I'm going with Pittsburgh. On this, this, this if the game. Eagles mm-hmm. win this game, changes the entire outlook on those guys. They're in first place yeah. right now. Yeah, which is they're, disgusting. They're, it's crazy. It's horrible. That's disgusting. Horrible. Crazy. crazy. And I know you've said this, Dion, but you don't think having the week off because of the COVID stuff will affect the Steelers at all? No, what, what happens is they get more time to prepare for Philly. Yeah. That's all it was. I have a quote for you, actually. Oh. Uh, Mike it Tomlin. that the NFC East isn't good. That's a division oh, that should be like when Buddy Ryan. Yeah, that, that was a division. great division. Mike, Mike Tomlin history. said uh, the week off gave them an opportunity to pause and take a global perspective mm. on competition. Global I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Mean? It, was, it sounded really intelligent. He loves to do those quotes. I it love sounded those quotes. really intelligent. He also said that... If he didn't use the word global, <laughs> it makes <laughs> sense. Or like or a just holistic said, look at our competition. I can just Here's another one. Can I throw Here's this another out? one. Since we, since we yeah. own Tom, can I throw this out? Mm-hmm. You know where they had open house for the Hall of Fame this past year? Yeah. A bunch of coaches, a bunch of players went in, right? So that means Tom was automatically in, right? Compared to the, the coaches that got in? What do you mean open? Oh, they everyone got elected. Oh, yeah, in. yeah. Come on. Well, no, I think because he's still... <laughs> like, oh, yeah, everybody, yeah. oh, everybody they mama so, got in there, no, right? No, because yeah, he's so still coaching. It, I know, but right. when he concludes... Yeah. I, who who got in that Cower. show? Cower. No, it's a, it's a, no, Cowher. No, but Cowher, yeah, yeah. no, but Tom but and Cowher are going to end up with the same, same resume, yeah, yeah. right? Like, yeah, they're going to end up with one Super Bowl. Bill the coaches, but all. Right, but so can Tomlin. You yeah. shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame as a coach if you got one Super Bowl. You just shouldn't. They got two. Cowers no, Cowers got one. Tomlin Cowers got one. He went twice. Went twice, he went but he's got one. What does that mean? Yeah, but so sweet, Tomlin, went Tomlin, went Tomlin went twice as well. <laughs> Tomlin went twice as well. Yeah, it's true. If you're going <laughs> there, I mean, you don't get nothing for going there. Yeah. Yeah. Levy, Levy Tomlin, went. Tomlin, Tomlin went. Levy go. Yeah, Tomlin went. Yeah, Levy, Levy went, went, went four times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomlin went twice. He lost to the Packers and he beat the Cardinals. Right. Here's the other Tomlin quote. Ready? The Eagles don't have a bunch of injuries. They have a lack of availability at the wide receiver position. I like that as well. Nice spin zone. That's a great. He's spin. a crazy. That's, that's Tomlin a good spin is, zone. Tomlin, I think, smokes wheat. You know well, what I need you guys to do for me? I need you guys to give me some of that stuff so I can spit it out in my press conference. So they can okay. say, yeah. wow, that was a good one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll watch. We'll have right. a like, earpiece it. Yeah. yeah. Earpiece. We'll let you know. Yeah. Flip it on them. All right, so Steelers across the board. Yep. Yeah. Which makes me think Eagles, Which but makes yes. me scared. All right, it's time for the rapid fire games of the week presented by Rocket Mortgage. Rocket Mortgage can adjust your monthly payment, down payment, and closing costs in real time. When you need a personalized home loan playbook, Rocket can. They are the official mortgage provider of the NFL. Let's start with the Jags at the Texans. Ain't nobody care. Nobody Uh, care. You think Bill O'Brien cares? This yeah. is a tough game to pick, I mean, man. So Romeo is Cornell, Bill O'Brien rooting Ro- against the Texans now? Oh, of course he yeah. wants them to lose. Romeo is the is now the coach, right? I think so. Yeah. I believe he is yeah. the yeah. oldest yeah. coach ever. Oh, yeah, a new coach. I, I he strikes me as a guy that actually the Texans will play for for a game, so I'll take him based on that. 
Okay. Yeah. Dan? You said you said it to us last week, Dion. I can't remember which show it was, but when a guy gets fired, they play for you, the job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You now everyone starts looking around the room, being like, well. They're gonna get a new coach next year, and that new coach probably doesn't want me, so I'm gonna have to be out on the street. So I gotta play for a job. You know what? You just convinced me. Well, I told you your point. Back. I know. To I just wanted you to say that. How long is uh, Deshaun <laughs> under contract for? A long time. He just resigned, he just resigned, resigned this Four year. Years. Yeah. Four years. Jeez. What a it's waste. Six, what a waste. Yep. Dion, you're going with the Texans. I'm going with the Texans. Yeah, I'll take the Texans as well. What a waste. All right, let's go to the Cardinals at the 0-4 New York Jets. Wow. Dave. Could be 0-16 Jets. I'll take the Cardinals. Dan? I'm taking the Cardinals as well. I'm scared of this pick. I'll take the Cardinals, but I'm really scared of this pick. This is subject to change. Uh, based on what? Based on just time. Okay. I don't trust the Cardinals anyway. They hurt me last week. I was really high on them. And they played like the old Cardinals. The only mm -hmm. reason I was high on them because the defense had been balling. Yeah. They're in the top ten in the league, mm -hmm. and they played like hot garbage last week. So maybe later on in the week you'll switch it. Yeah, maybe. All right, put an asterisk <laughs> down. Let's go to the Panthers at the 0-4 Falcons. Dan. All right, so I, uh, my mistake last week, and I said this, I'm gonna, I have three goals in life this year that I've set myself forward for myself. One is to lose a little weight, two is to spend more time with my son, and three is to respect Teddy Bridgewater more. He is so good. All he does is win. I gotta respect Teddy Bridgewater more. Give me the Panthers. Dion? I like the, the other two. Mm -hmm. I do. You the, don't like respect. I know. To, to, to lose the weight and to spend, spend more time, time with your kid. I'm proud, yeah. of you. I'm proud of you for that. Thank you. I, you, you should have been respected. The one I'm Teddy, only going to do is probably the Teddy Bridgewater. I, I know. Yeah. That's why, that's why yeah. I harped on those other two. Okay. I love me some Teddy. I love me some Teddy. Like Teddy Pendergrass. I, I love Teddy. I would not pick the Falcons in an inner squad game, and I'm sick of it because I love them red and black. That's what I bleed. That's who I am. I got a red and black draws, by the way. But uh, <laughs> I'm going with Carolina. Julio is not playing again. He, he hurt his hamstring. Yeah, he hurt uh, himself. Again. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you surprised Dan Quinn hasn't been fired yet? What's the date, Tuesday? <laughs> yeah, it could happen. Uh, it could happen. So far. It, it could happen. Let me I, actually look. I'll, you, you give your pick. I, I'm going to yeah, watch just to make sure I, you get like fired. I like absolute moron took uh, Atlanta last night with the points. Not to win. I knew Green Bay would win. And I didn't like Dan Quinn doing one of these with a lineman coming off the field like a little, like, fist pump when they were down 14 as the game's over. I don't know what's going on, but, you know, he still seemed enthusiastic, if not defeated. And, you know, the Falcons suck, obviously. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. But they've had huge leads in most of the games. There's nothing embarrassing about losing at Green Bay, I guess. I do love Teddy Bridgewater. I always have. Mm -hmm. But... Oh, boy. Mm -mm. Don't take do the it. No. Don't, don't do it. Don't, don't do it. I don't I even want you to do it. I don't even want you to do it. That was a struggle. Take it back. It. No, Please. There, this is an o ominous uh, tweet that I'm reading right now. Mm. There's no indication at this time that Falcons coach Dan Quinn is getting fired today. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> When they say that, this is Tuesday. Oh, this is Tuesday. Like, guess yeah. what? He's surviving, right, so he's surviving the these 24 hours. You can't only... get fired on off day. Yeah. Uh, they they <laughs> played enthusiastically so against mm -hmm. Green Bay. I will say, Matty Ryan. Say How do you say they that? They did. They were like into the game. They yeah, they were body language. Why are we sucks. rewarding people in this country nowadays for what they're supposed to I'm do? I'm just moving it we forward. Stop yeah, I'm that. taking the evidence. I'm taking the, what I have, the info processing. Me, like, I haven't totally quit. I will say, Matt Ryan, to me right now, is the most sackable quarterback he's in broken. the NFL. He's, yep. he's so he, if you <laughs> breathe yes. on him, he yes. falls down. Yes, he's seen ghosts. Oh. That play last night, or yeah, I'm gonna say last night. People are gonna be like, "What the hell?" There's Saturday Night Football. The play on Monday night when he uh, just like short armed it by about ten yeah, yards. Yeah, yeah. That one, I think he thought he was gonna get pick six. And he also thought he was gonna get sacked. So yeah. he's seeing ghosts. Like he just doesn't see anything right now. That was uh, I thought he was gonna get backdoor cover the whole time. So Dave, if yeah, you were close. If Dan Quinn does get fired, are you switching your pick? Yes. Well, we'll update it at the end. Yeah, we'll update, we'll update it. it. No, because I still think they're playing for him. Yeah, but if, if he gets fired, they're really going to be playing for their jobs. Right. So I think they, they're no longer enthusiastic. I'm not going to get peer pressured by every. I'm telling you what I'm doing. I'm taking Atlanta if he's there. You've never been one for peer pressure. If he's not, mm -hmm. then I'm out. You should stay with Atlanta. Thank you. All right. Don't try to reverse psychology. <laughs> you think you're going to reverse <laughs> fucking psychology? Yeah, you're going to yeah, reverse yeah, psychology? Yeah, yeah. Like don't eat your broccoli type yeah. thing? Turn in his head a little bit. Yeah. Let's go to the Los Angeles Rams at the Washington football team. Dion. Rams. No, Dave. no, nothing else. Rams. Rams. All right. But I do think Washington can cover, but Rams. Easy enough. Let's go to the Bengals at the Ravens. Like we said earlier, Joe Burrow got his first win last week. Dave, you're a Joe Burrow guy. What do you think about this game? 
Ravens win this game because they're cowards who like to beat up on the little sisters of the league. I think the Bengals are improving, but the Ravens will come back and Dion will be like, oh my God, Lamar Jackson, this, that, this, that, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? At 14 point pay, I'll take the Ravens. Yeah. Dan? Take, give me the Ravens. The Ravens are, are like a, a big SEC school. They're a bully. That just beat up on little, little SEC schools, and then when they have to play Alabama or LSU, they get the shit kicked yep. out of them. Dion? I don't see it that way. I'm taking the Ravens. Okay. But you agree no. yeah. with everything we just said. No, and no, then we'll the Ravens. no. So then what? take the Bengals. I don't want to, I don't like the Bengals. What I haven't liked the Bengals what, what since happened, the 80s. What happened when the Ravens played the Icky Shuffle? What happened when uh, the Ravens played the Chiefs two weeks ago? They got their butts smacked. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I picked the Chiefs. You guys picked the Ravens. I think Baltimore comes out with a chip on her shoulder and they win this game fairly easy. Double two digits. One. I like that. That's, That's true. He did irrelevant. pick the Chiefs. True. <laughs> he is true. He definitely true. was the only irrelevant. one. That is true. Yeah. You have the cool. camera. You have the he sound guy laughing at us for that. Damn it. He's that's That's why I rewatch the show I because some that. of the stuff I don't even hear. Yeah. <laughs> just sitting here, you guys are that, that You just dunked on him. All right, let's go to the Dolphins at the oh, 49ers. I uh, yeah, you, you were silent. You just didn't have know. something to say. Did, when you did, I work, said something. That's what caused. Did, that's what caused the. That's what caused the uproarious laughter. When you worked to the NFL Network. The people behind the cameras, do they are they stone faced? Because I actually no, like no, I laugh. like when people laugh yeah. and, and react because it's like what no, they laugh, that's really what they laugh yeah. about. No, we had great jokes. Funny jokes. Hasn't been one funny. We had great funny jokes. Great jokes. Funny. Great jokes. Been one because funny we had thing. we had this crew's gold better. jackets up here and we went at it. Oh, I mean, it, it was it, good. It, there hasn't been a funny thing said on the NFL Network in the last two decades. You mean since I left? Yeah. Yeah. This crew, you know, this, crew. Crew. this crew is a great crew. There you go. Great crew. They've all been laughing all day. And this crew over here is a great crew. Just a lot of love all over the place. Let's go to the Dolphins at the 49ers. It's a good game. Is Garoppolo no, back? No, it's not a good game. Is Garoppolo back? 49ers. 49ers. Is Garoppolo back? 49ers. Doesn't matter. If we re ran, by the way, if we reran the tape, he, 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 10 minutes ago you said no one cared about this game. Now you're saying it's a good game. No, no, no. Nobody cared about half of this game. The 49ers are going to win this game. Kyle Shanahan will will get it right. I think actually C.J. Bethard might might play because he, uh, he came in for Nick Mullins. Looks good. Maybe prevent defense, but he almost he had them in a hail mary away from winning. So I'm gonna take the Niners. Dave, I'm gonna take the Niners here. Uh, why are people asking for um, Tua? Yeah, because Fitzpatrick because it's is time. Done. Because it's not September anymore. Right. No, it's time. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna take the Niners. C.J. Beathard, by the way, always. I every time I see him, his backstory is like uh, his what. Father, grandfather was the GM of the Bobby Beathard of the Chargers. Always interesting. And right? he has like a bunch of, I think he has. He's like a music guy. Yeah, right? Nashville yeah, music. Yeah, it's ton, an interesting ton of story. Who's quarterbacking for the Niners? I just said it. Who? Maybe CJ Beathard. But maybe yeah, maybe. I'm going to tell you maybe. something, man. Maybe. This is a good game. I don't have. I don't Did have you see guts. my man George Kittle? I don't have the gut. Did you, you see George Kittle? Hey, Miami, <laughs> San Francisco? I nobody. Care. I care about that. You, half of it. You okay, care about half, half of it. Of it. Yes, I nobody. Care. I care about that. Can you man. say George Kittle's the best tight end in, in the in the league? It's not even close? Uh, if I call Travis Kelsey beforehand and see oh, if it's no. okay. What's Kelsey doing? George Kittle had 15 targets, 15 catches, 180. Let me tell you something. You're not. I love Kittle. No, it sounds like I, you no, don't. No, no, no. If I you love, love Kittle, then you I, name I, him number one. Those guys are right there. Nope, they're right there Kittle's with me. Then you don't love him. You don't love him. I'm on the fence. You can't say that. You can't be like, I kind of like Kelsey. This is going to be an upset, but I'm scared. So I'm going with San Francisco. Wait. It's going to be upset. I <laughs> <laughs> made no sense. <laughs> so your official pick is... It's going to be an upset. Yeah, double upset. pick of the week. The we Dolphins need a graphic are going to beat yeah. the 49ers, yeah. so he's going with the 49ers. Can we get a graphic for that for next week? Dion's double pick of the week. Yeah. <laughs> the Dolphins 49ers that. is this one. He yeah, had okay. the Colts and Bears last week. I'm going with San Fran. <laughs> he picked the Bears, but he loved the Colts. Big guy. I should have <laughs> pulled that trigger. Either way, you're right. Let's go to the Broncos at the Patriots. And like we mentioned right now, we don't know if Cam's going to be playing because we don't understand COVID. He may be playing, he may not. So I'm going to let you guys pick if he's playing and if he's not how playing. Long is it? He should know. How long is the quarantine for your team? I have no idea how it works. The president like, was quarantined for 24 hours. It, I mean, how do you know? If you don't, No one knows what's going they're on. They're saying if Cam is asymptomatic, which I think that he is, and he tests negative a couple times, Correct. he may be able to play. Couldn't that it's, a guy it's, just lie if he's asymptomatic? No, it's, 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 fever. it's, it's uh, fever, and it's also, I think it's con you need to have consecutive negative tests. Mm -hmm. So consecutive days with negative tests, so and he can play. Right, so if Honestly, he's under 100. who fucking cares? The Patriots okay. are winning whether I'm the quarterback here. No, not necessarily. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. You, you big Brett Rippin guy? You went a bit far. You big Brett Rippin guy? No, no. Uh, the Broncos, yeah. remember I told you the Broncos aren't garbage. They're not great, but they're not garbage. I'm going with the Patriots, though. 
Cam, regardless of quarterback? I'll take Cam, the Patriots. Hoyer or I'll Stanford. take the Patriots. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Patriots across the board. Let's go to the Giants at the Cowboys. Dan. Uh, Cowboys. You know how bad you have to be to be a, basically a double-digit underdog to the Cowboys right now? But yes. that's how bad the Giants are. Yes. Taking the Cowboys. Yeah. Because and the, the Cowboys are going to score. Well, and not only that, but the Giants, the Cowboys can get run on, and the Giants can't run. The, the thing that I hate oh, about the point. Cowboys right point. now is Dak is playing out of his head, and nobody cares. Over because 500 it's, yards every week. It's, it's getting overshadowed by the inconsistency of the ignorance of this team. Dak, it's ridiculous. 450 yards, what, for the last three weeks? And oh. nobody's care. Nobody cares. Nobody's saying anything about that. I like the Cowboys, but Dak is playing out of his mind right now. Dan, you know, it jumped in my head like a lightning bolt there for a prop bet for the sports book. First New York football team to get a win. Ooh. Ooh. I like that. That did jump in your head. I like that. that we also should do. I just jumped. We I said should, it publicly. We should also do, Dave, what do you mean? for the Giants. I don't know how they price it, but the Giants have scored three touchdowns all year. They haven't scored a touchdown since week two. Over under Giants touchdowns for the game. That'd be fun. Yeah. One and a half. Well, I no, don't know. Be, uh, Cowboys so bad. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, it's it's tough. So but they, they, their offense yeah. is so bad. Yeah. I like that, though. First New York football team just to, to get a win. That's, That's tough. good. Yeah. So Cowboys across the board, all three of you? Yes. Yes. All right. Certainly. Let's go to the Sunday night football game, the Vikings at the Seahawks. Dan. Uh, Seahawks. Yeah. Although the Vikings showed a little life, but yeah, it's the Seahawks. Seahawks. I like to say Russell, last name Wilson. That's kind of my saying. Yes, it should be. Mm -hmm. Dion? MVP. Russell, last name Wilson. Is balling out of you his You sure mind. he's the MVP? It's, it's, it's tough right now. Because I, I hate the guy it's who's like the MVP guys. right now, it's four but guys the MVP right is now. Aaron Rodgers right now. You're right. I really I mean, hate watching Aaron Rodgers when he, he you know, you know, you know how you team. take uh, you, certain guys who like beat up on bullies. You know what he does when he plays a, a weak team? He smiles a lot. And he nice. audibles at the line he, to throw it deep. He increases his smile mm -hmm. quotient a millionfold. Drives yes. me nuts. <laughs> and he and he like he actually like high fives his teammates yeah, and stuff. He's which a he friendly guy. He doesn't when do it. Playing a, yes. a weak like yes. little dandelion yes. team. Yes. Yes. When he plays someone good, he's never seen him smile. He's mean. He, he's standoffish. When he plays a crap team, oh, I'm just happy go lucky. It's true. All right, let's finish with the Monday night football game, the Chargers at the Saints. Dion, your guy Drew Brees. What do Love you think? me some Drew Brees and Sean Payton. Oh, you you know, know I'm not ropes. picking against them. I'm not picking against them. It's no way. The two games they I, lost was really good teams. I loved the Saints last week. They were my mortal lock. I like them again this week because I don't believe in the Chargers at all, and I don't like the kid from uh, Oregon. You don't, don't like Justin play. Herbert? Don't like the kid He's from Oregon. He's got a rocket arm. So did uh, Jeff George. Jeff George could play for real, though. I played with him. I played with him. You had a rocket arm. No, still it to this day. Surly. If we had a team, a Barstool team. Surly. No, no, we had a Barstool team, we would hire him just to quarterback for us. I'm telling you, because he dominated. He was absolutely, did not dominate in the NFL, though. He didn't even He was dominant. He didn't dominate. In practice. Oh, dominant versus dominate. Unbelievable. He was good. Unbelievable. Hey, Jeff George has to be the number one guy like that where anyone who played with him is like, he was incredible. And it's like, you look at his says like, but no, he wasn't. But like, no, he was no, incredible. No, he was. So <laughs> he has <laughs> Cyril, was he? So, so he was incredible. Dominate versus dominant. Well, no, he was he, he literally yeah, in no. practice. Yeah. yeah. But he didn't dominate. Right. right. You watch him and you're like, this guy is insane. Yeah. He, yeah. He, he, he like the old skills competition. You don't want to go up against it's Jeff like George. Josh Gordon. Josh Gordon the same way, right? Well, no, he, he dominated, dominated until but he, he didn't got, dominate. Well, he did until well, he got, like, he weed every two, two seconds. Years. Let me ask he you this. Like, never. Yeah, and then he got, like, the, the weed. Without the weed, he's, pure, like, I uh, don't think it was weed. Pure talent. Whatever. Pure, pure talent. Pure talent. Troy Aikman, Steve Young, Jeff George. Pure talent? Yeah. That's a good one, man. What is talent to you? The whole package, like if you, like the, whole the, the package, way I would say this, seven on seven, running seven, watching seven on seven. Troy Eggman, like honestly, if you said a picture of a quarterback, right? Troy Eggman. But no, no, I'm not talking about games. I'm not talking about playing, putting the pads on. I'm talking about you watch him. He's throwing, you know, he's throwing for the combine, seven on seven drills against air, that type of that thing. That would be Troy Eggman. Troy Aikman, really? Yeah. yeah. All right. I was hoping you'd say Jeff George because that's kind of his MO. It's like everyone's like, Jeff George, you saw so Jeff George. He really wanted Jeff you to George? say Jeff George. Yeah, you think I was going down that street? No, he really wanted to. It was too easy. To. Was he I as can't surly believe as Steve everyone said? Answer. Did he even say hello to you, Jeff George? Oh, Jeff George is a great guy. Never heard that before. Yeah. He's a great guy. He was renowned surly as Dan yeah. was surly. I never heard that. 
Was, what are you guys getting remember, your information? Remember that meme? Remember Angry Cat? That's Jeff George. What are you guys getting your information? Jeff, Jeff Grumpy George, George is going to be known to be his Grumpy Cat. Yeah, that's it's like, Grumpy uh, Cat. And we've never met him, but that's... And you guys, you guys are, uh, indict Jeff George of that, but you got pom-poms with Blake Bortles. Blake Bortles is a great guy. Great guy. So like, when I say Jeff George is a great guy, you can't believe that. Well, no, because well, he's we, But I've never heard that of Blake Bortles. We know Blake Bortles. I've never heard he's a great guy. I told you. I never heard that. We I know him, though. I got a few of his teammates right there. We know him. Now, yeah, I, I do we too. don't know Jeff George, so he could be a nice guy, but the reputation is he's not. Certainly. Blake Bortles may be a great guy to you guys because he's afraid of no, you No, that's different. Oh, because no, he knows you got no. the power. If you know and you guys Blake, can light him on fire. No, if you know Blake, oh, yeah. you know the type of guy he is. He doesn't care about the I athlete. like Blake Bortles. I just don't like him between the lines. Well, that's fair. That's what I'm saying. I don't I, I disagree don't dislike with him. Spot. He's the boat. I don't disagree. And I don't like Jeff George outside the line. Because <laughs> he's surly. I'm trying to think who else I like <laughs> rocket surly. arm guys. Rocket arm guys? Just that's all they're known for. Like, you could just throw through the I mean, Jamarcus, Jamarcus Russell. Russell. Jamarcus, Jamarcus Russell. Russell. Yeah, number he, one yeah. all time. Trying to think that about. was yeah. the most yeah. obvious bust of all time. I mean, when yes. you can't pick up wide open guys in college. Yeah. Dan, what's your pick for this game? Uh, what game? Oh, the Saints. Yeah. Saints. Monday Night Football. Yeah, we got off on a little tangent. Yes. <laughs> all right, let's go to the Fantasy Football Factory Minute with the guys on the podcast. Okay, thanks guys, and welcome back to the Fantasy Football Factory Fantasy Minute of the Week. Let's begin with some stardom sit -em. Let's do stardom sit -em. Cracker Edition. Oh, perfect, because I have been dying to sit that hunky Gardner Minshew. I'm, I meant edible cracker because I'm sitting Jimmy Graham. Oh, okay, I guess that's something a little bit different. Uh, moving right along, Nick Chubb got injured this week. I think you meant to say Nick Chubb. I don't think so. Okay, let's get to our matchup of the week. Whoopsies. <laughs> Cincinnati against Baltimore. That's I, a matchup of the week. I don't want to say we can see into the future, but that game is looking so raving. <laughs> oh, you're right. And you know what the number one rule of a rave is? <laughs> well, you know what the number two rule of a rave is? I do not. You got it, DJ Moore, and that's why I'm looking at Panthers versus Falcons. That sounds like a show that should air on Discovery Channel after Shark Week. Yeah, but enough about Shark Week. Let's talk about weak sharks. Okay, I'm going to bench DJ Shark. He's due for a letdown against, against the Texans. Yeah, they got a new coach. And they should be bolstered by Deshaun Watson, J.J. Watt. Speaking of J.J.'s who have been having good times that are dynamite, let's talk about Justin Jefferson. Was that a Jefferson or a Good Times rep? You know what? It was a little bit of both. And for my sleeper of the week, Keyshawn Vaughn of the, of the, of the, of the freaking, of the freaking Bill the Buccaneers! Back to you guys! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to the primetime pick of the week, which I think it's still a survivor pool. I'm not sure. All I know is that Dan is still 4-0. and He's the only one that has not lost. I'm just giving people the, I'm, I'm, you're still alive in my survivor league. I'm, and Dave, I'm doing it for Dave's everyone. the only one that lost last week. He did take the Cowboys, so Dave will let you start this week. Well, there's a million games, so uh, I'm gonna, I'll take. Let's go with. Let's make this really simple, and we will go with. Uh, <laughs> I'll go with the Cowboys. The Ravens. Whoa! There it is. That was my pick. Yep. Too bad. So the cow. So Dan's going with the Cowboys. So I got to yep. pick another team now. Dave's going with the Ravens. Dion. Well, I should get the first pick anyway because I'm the only one who's still alive. Have I taken the Rams yet? I take uh, the Rams. You've not nope. taken the Rams. I'm taking the Rams. Okay. All right. We'll mark that all down. Uh, I might actually. Oh. I might go 16 and 0. That would be right. a waste. Oh, such a waste. Go 16 and 0. I wonder, how many, I wonder waste. what percentage of people picks. are still in this pool. Such like a in waste. Season pools. Yeah. All right. That's week five. Anything else, guys? No. no? Excited. Dan Quinn. You think it's gonna happen? Probably by. That Here's, quote makes me think. By it the is. time yeah. this airs, maybe. By the time this airs, we'll, we're gonna obviously we'll be live right after this, and we can be like, hey, remember when we said Dan Quinn wasn't gonna get fired on Tuesday, and then he got fired on Tuesday? Yeah. When are we filming for next week? Tomorrow. <laughs> We're just spending the night. Yeah. We're just spending the night. Week six. So we got room. We should actually room. do that one year as a gag. Just yeah. do all week seven. All 17 weeks before week yeah. one. In the same album. Yeah. Just the just same thing. Try to predict it. Like, this guy was garbage last week. Yeah. Yeah. 500 yards. Yeah. We're officially on Dan Quinn Watch, and let's go right now live to these guys updating you for everything on Sunday. All right, we're live. Uh, Dion said that his son took his computer, so that's why he's not here. Uh, Dave and I were just talking. I think the bit, what? What? What do you mean his son's? I don't computer? know. He's trying to get on his phone, but Pete said 
just open up your computer and it will send it. And I, I just asked Pete for a link and Pete just did refuse to give me a link. You heard that, right? Yeah. Do you see the hat I'm wearing, by the way? Can you see it? The rigs? Yes. It's beautiful. Yeah. Um, that's okay, though, that Dion's not here because the biggest story is Balls has his $10,000 bet. Yeah. And he took the... Uh... He took the over, I was telling you before we started, so he took the over on the Chiefs Raiders, which I fucking hate. But then we went to do a primo hoagie, like, promo, and somebody saw us in the street, stopped us. They're like, who do you guys like tonight? And, and Balls is like, I love the Texans. <laughs> what? That was like his pick of the day is the Texans, but his 10 grand play is the over. Is the, the over? Chiefs. What are you doing, Balls? I'm betting the overs. Balls doesn't He's bet the teams, over. he says. He only bets overs. Uh, all right, Dave, what else do you have? You're going all advisors card. Anything else that we uh, – the Patriots yeah, game got so canceled. My, yeah, the Patriots have moved. So I got uh, – I'll tell you what I got right now. I, it was all advisors. Um, so my picks – and balls. I went with fucking balls. So I got the over, even though I hate it, and the Chiefs Raiders hate it. Uh, I got the Colts, the Panthers – the Panthers over. That one was not a man of suit. Um, Raiders, uh, Cowboys, Eagles, Seahawks over. Oh, yeah, I already said that. You like yeah, the I Eagles? I mean, I, I picked it on the show. Um, all right. Dion wants that to change. That hat was nice. Yeah, this is a nice hat. I'm, I, I'm a UNC fan for one more week uh, before Big Ten comes back. Um, Dion wants to switch to the Panthers. I don't know if he picked Atlanta, but he said he wants the Panthers. Yeah, because Julio's out probably. Yeah, so put that on his card. He wants the Panthers. I actually like the Panthers too. Um, anything else? I mean, fuck coronavirus. Well, college football doesn't seem to have a problem with it. Yeah, they just pretend it doesn't exist. I thought the I, NFL I was like going to do the same. More, there's way more teams in college. The kids are partying. And, like, nothing's being affected. The NFL, I guess the NFL is just probably testing more and being more careful. But, honestly, if someone has coronavirus, who fu- just herd mentality the NFL team. Just get them all. Get them all to get corona. Then you'll be done with it for the team for two weeks. Well, what they really should have done. Get sick, they're all healthy men. Like, these guys, with, no one in the NFL who gets corona is going to be, they're, they're too, like, they're in the prime of their lives. So just get it all over with for the team. That's what the NFL should have done. They should have had a Corona Fest before the season <laughs> where everybody, <laughs> everybody went to a big bubble and everybody got Corona. But you only ha- together. you're only immune for like three three months. The NFL season. I so I think what they should have done is they should have just idea. they should <laughs> they should have done a 20 week schedule and thrown in a couple by weeks that like the whole league can shut down because this is stupid that they it's like baseball baseball started and then they're like you can't do double headers in football so they they fuck right. that part up I, I wouldn't be surprised if they do that still if they just start adding in off weeks where you will have like the makeup games right right which i'm fine with i would like for there to be football up until like play the super bowl in march totally fine with it yeah totally fine with it yeah so. um all right uh good luck to balls Everyone tune in, Balls. live stream from the gambling house, from the gambling cave in Philly. Balls will be betting. He has a $10,000 bet via Dave on the over. What's the number? 54 and a half? 54 and a half. And if Balls wins, he still has the ball. So he he'll still get, has the ball. Like, I'm going to do these. I'm going to do. We were actually had a conversation. Uh, Kevin asked me, he's like, would you get mad if somebody hedged on the 10 grand bet? I'm like, yeah, I want to pay him. And I'd fire them. Yeah. But I'm like, there's no way that balls or spider would hedge. I know that is like Smitty would hedge. Like I know that, but I would never give him a bet to do it with. Right. You, no, w- ball- you would definitely hedge. Roan would hedge. Yeah. Caleb would hedge. Balls doesn't. People who would hedge wouldn't get the bet. Balls doesn't even know. Like when we say the word hedge, he's like, you mean the the big the grass things in front of your house? Like he has no <laughs> idea what we're talking about right now. Hedging, hedging, what, uh, hedging's for gardeners. What did, it, what did Elio's hat say? Oh, yeah, what did, uh, oh, it said, it, w- it was the Stars logo. It said no hedge. Not, no hedge, yeah, and his kids were chanting no hedge. But, yeah, the, um, so Balls, if Balls wins his next 10 bets, 
via Dave, he can make a hundred grand, hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, and I may eventually change this thing too to more not yet, but more like a press. So you start five grand, double or nothing, and you can get out at any point. Although Spider got out so quick, it kind of ruined it. Now, can there ever be to to make it even uh, more? Should, can like I get the ball, but give it to like our fans? Because like I. I, it would be stupid for yeah. me to do it, but that would be fun. Like if I had yeah, the ball, yeah, maybe like and then a I random had, fan. Or yeah, something. and then we disperse it to a random fan. Yeah, yeah, just a thought. That could be interesting. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh. All right, that's it. Everyone, tune in. Balls is gonna sweat it out, uh, and good luck. And we'll see everyone next Sunday. Good luck, balls. One and thing to up. remember when you're gambling on the Barstool Sportsbook app: make sure that you gamble responsibly. Know your odds. Know your chances of losing. Gamble responsibly. Nobody wants to end up in a trash can. You can play with Penn National, which is a licensed and regulated operator. Big words. If you have a problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER.